I think the first thing is dealing with the scar, you know, like the physical, you know, length and detail of your body physically changing. Um, I think also, I guess my perspective is as someone who was single at the time, that really changes a lot in terms of going forward, in terms of if I'm meeting someone and then obviously, you know, they see the scar, there's a story. And, am I, and do I actually want to share that story? Because you kind of can't avoid it. So that, that was particularly challenging and that was probably one of my biggest fears to start with. Um, and just the general changes. And then I guess also at 36, sort of going on to 37 through treatment and all the rest of it. And then that's when fertility for me in, in the most natural way came off the table. That also really changes who you are as a woman because it then again takes something else off the table. So again, if I wanted to have a relationship, if someone wanted kids, well then that's not me. So there was, you know, elements of fear, elements of rejection, elements of isolation, elements of exclusion, which were starting to happen based on the physical and then how that sort of manifested and sort of, I guess, emotionally within myself as well.